think we're all going to probably need it at some point, and so it's something that needs to be addressed. Kate Brogan says almost one year ago, her younger son Nate was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. She had to take a leave from her job as a main family planning lobbyist. Brogan tells us she doesn't know what she would have done if her boss hadn't offered her some flexibility. What would I do if I had to go to work tomorrow to, to pay my rent? Um, and I had the ability to stay home, but not everybody has that. And I don't know how people take care of their kids that way. And it shouldn't be left up to luck to be able to take care of your kids when they're sick. Two legislative leaders from opposing parties are pushing an effort to crunch the numbers on the creation of a paid family medical leave program in Maine. Republican Amy Volk says it's about strengthening Maine's workforce. We really need to find creative ways of recruiting young workers to come work at Maine's businesses. This is a way to establish a baseline of where we're at and what is a responsible step forward in order to do this. Democrat Aaron Herbig explains why the bill was watered down from the creation of a program to a study of its impact. I'm a really practical girl and I want to see results. Opponents say the original bill wasn't going to fly. Jacob Posick is a policy analyst with the Maine Heritage Policy Center, a conservative think tank. They'll find whatever they want to find with that study, but at the end of the day, it's a bad bill that would hurt small businesses in Maine. And opponents of this bill also say creating a more business-friendly environment is the right way to get the private sector to offer better paid family medical leave options. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.